So I had a series of unfortunate events leading me to a slippery slope with my car that I've taken apart here. Let me zoom out so you can see. Jesus. Anyway, I don't know if you can see that right there. That's a leaking radiator. I thought it was the brakes causing it to get hot, but uh, this caliper back here was sticking. So I replaced the caliper, the brake pads, and the brake lines on the back. And that stopped some of the problems I was having, like uh, it was getting hot. And uh, it was um, shaking and stuff, and that doesn't do that. But now I'm leaking radiator fluid. So we're going to have to change the sucker. Might go to Don's car crushing in Ladson and grab one. I could buy a new one, a cheap new one for 50 but I'd have to wait for delivery so I'm just going to go to Don's and grab it. And while I'm at it I'm going to grab a fan. Believe it or not this fan right here it comes on when the engine gets hot. This one comes on automatically when you turn the air conditioner on. Um, this one wasn't working so I thought that was the problem with it getting hot. I came out here to test it. I got this in the way here. Came here to test it, went to turn it, and as I went to her turn it, I heard something go clink, and then it kind of started moving. I reached down in there, somebody had been working on a car with a butter knife, and the butter knife fell down in there, and it had the fan stopped. So I thought, well, you know, maybe that'll take care of it. I think it got overheated, and uh, made the radiator start leaking, so now I have to get a new radiator. So... I'll get back with you guys when I go to the junkyard and we'll get a new radiator. And probably a new fan because if that one was stuck with something in it, it might have burned up the motor. So, might just get the fan. The fan's $35. Best to be safe than sorry, I guess. Alright, we'll be back in a few. Okay. Beautiful day here in South Carolina. Went to the junkyard this morning and got my parts. Look at my beautiful sidewalk. I just pressure washed it yesterday. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to scrub that with something. But anyway, I went to the junkyard. I got the fan and I got the radiator. Um, this is still too hot to work on, so I brought the fan out to uh, blow on it, cool it down a little quicker. While I'm waiting for it to cool down, I'm going to go ahead and take out the battery and the battery tray because it gets in the way of taking out the fan. I learned that at the uh, junkyard. There's also, I don't think you can see it here. Let's see. That guard needs to come off. Apparently it's loose. <laughs> anyway, I got to take that guard off down there. So I can get to the bottom stuff and drain the, drain the radiator. I might take the uh, pressure washer to this thing, clean some of this grease off here. I don't know. I'm scared I might mess up those coil packs. But, um... I'll show you the radiator and the fan. Now I went looking for a Nissan Murano, which is what I have. I also got these because uh, one of mine's loose up there. But while I was out there, I was in the process of taking off a radiator off of one car and a fan off of another car. One radiator was broke and the other one, the fan was broke. This is a double fan. Apparently this one's broke, but I'm gonna put it on there just like that anyway. And uh, put that right there. Oh, yeah. and this is the radiator. Now this is a fairly new radiator here. I don't know if it was replaced or what, but um, it's the exact same radiator I got, and it was laying in the back of the old work truck. So I'm assuming somebody took it off and then decided they were going to leave it somewhere until later or didn't need it so I got them the only difference is this here part here I'm going to take those off and put mine on there um, it's just better looking it's all aluminum which might be a bad thing but uh, it cost me $98 for uh, these two and those that pair of trim 
and Gabby's clean and stuff. So as soon as this cools down enough, I'm going to go ahead and take finish taking it apart. But I'm going to go right now. I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the battery, take out the battery tray and that bottom cover. As you see, I already got the uh, the trim pieces that go up here off. So I'm going to go ahead and get get ready. Might as well be ready, right? We'll we'll finish taking it apart when it cools down. The guy in that truck right there just asked me if I was making a YouTube video. <laughs> he didn't see the camera. That's funny. I told him, yeah, man. <laughs> All right, I got the uh, battery out. Um, this pan was in the bottom of it. I'm going to put that back, but I'm going to clean this pan up before I put it back in there. I think this is all welded to it, so I'm not going to disconnect that. I think it snaps on there. But you have these 12 millimeter bolts. I think there's like six of them. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. What is that? Five? Six? Five? I can't count. Anyway, uh, let me take those out. Okay, I went ahead and took the pan out. These three here were holding it on in the middle. This was just clipped on there. I went ahead and took it off and popped a couple clips. It held cables off and it came right out. Um, without not taking it out, this part of the pan would have been hitting on the, uh, on the uh, pan and I wouldn't have been able to get it out. It's still really hot, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this bottom uh, doohickey my bobber down here. Sorry, I got to hold on to something I lean down. Let's see if we got that jack the sucker up. Yeah, all these clips got to come off so I can get to the radiator drain. Somewhere here. Right. Might be in if he's leaking down there. But, um, yeah, I gotta take all these clips off, take this arrow off. So let me get at that and I'll be back. Okay, my camera is not digging the heat. But I hope these files will turn out. Um, went ahead and popped the radiator top. The fluid was actually cool, so I'm going to go ahead and start disassembling it. I've already got the plug out and it's draining down below. It just unscrews with a Phillips screwdriver. It's funny that the fluid coming out is cold. This sucker here is hotter than hell. So maybe the fan blowing on the radiator cooled it off quicker than normal. I'm going to go ahead and take this top line loose and pull out the radiator. Yeah, you can see this one here is rotten. This is the original. It's rotten right there. And somebody must have crashed it before. So I got this line loose here. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to unplug the fan here and over here and disconnect it from these clips right here, here, and there and then the fan will lift right out and then you can get the radiator out so let me do that real quick okay after a little bit of hemming and hawing we finally got it out uh, the transmission lines that go to the cooler part of the radiator I just put some vice grips on them to pinch them off I didn't have hose clamps so and I caught all the antifreeze I could get um, you want to make sure that you have your your bushings in these holes this is where your radiator is going to sit and uh, I didn't show this on camera but um these are the top bushings and they slide in here like so and uh, these clips here they slide over that and you have to pry this side out and this side out to get this off to get the top of the radiator out. There was also two 12 millimeter, um, that's hot, two 12 millimeter screws. These right here, that, um, they also have Phillips head, but I use a 12 millimeter, that mount the uh, fan to the radiator right here. So now I'm gonna switch off these uh, plug-ins down here with the, uh, new radiator and slide it in there all right after wasting an hour of my day apparently part numbers don't mean anything anymore um, the radiator that I got from the junkyard had a it was shorter it had different transmission cooling line fittings on it 
So I had to go back and uh, got this one out of uh, the exact same vehicle, as a matter of fact. So the uh, radiator is the same size as the old one, so it should fit right in there. Um, these pegs right here on the bottom, we're going to put them in those holes right there. One there, there's one over there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and that's going to hold it up, and then we're going to hook it up and make sure it holds water. We don't have any leaks. So let me do that. Alright, we got the transmission cooling lines hooked up in the bottom radiator hose. Um, put my glasses on, so to say. Uh, that's one of the transmission cooling lines. That's the radiator hose. That clip right there is where the uh, the fan is going to sit. We'll come back over to this side, and there's the other clip that the fan will sit in. And there's the other radiator hose right there. And uh, I haven't hooked this one up yet because I have to uh, I have to um, put the fan on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that next. It should just slide right down in there. Um, I just had that leaning up against it to keep it from falling over while I was working down below. So let me slide that fan in there. It's, it's not too hard. Okay, we're going to put the uh, top mounts on. And the way you do it is you stick the bushing on there that and then this little clip slides over the bushing like so and you just slide it up over them little clips right there and snap it in place like that we'll do the same thing over here snaps in place Make sure you get them to snap. Nothing worse than the radiator coming loose on you. And this is where you bolted the radiator to the fan. And all we got to do is hook top hose up. And reconnect our wire harness. always 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 put your little snappies back in keep your wires out of your fan and away from your exhaust <clears throat> take that loser anyway there's also some little holes here you can put zip ties in if you need to and uh, this joke here I think was actually in one of them I think it went in here. Okay, anyway, we can go right there for now. All right, and then we got to hook our overflow tube back up to the top of our radiator. And then we can fill it up with uh, water, coolant, antifreeze. Funny, they call it cool it, they call it antifreeze. Mm -hmm. Anyway, okay, I got the radiator back in secured. All I got to do is I'm going to change the radiator cap that's in the back of the car, and I can't do that until I put the battery back in because the back door doesn't work without the battery. So I'm going to go ahead and put the battery tray back in and reinstall the battery so we can get in the back of the car. Doing some reassembly, putting all these covers back on. We got it running good. It, both the fans are running. This one was actually running too slow on the old one, so I'm pretty sure the motor was shot. So we got two new fans. Well, it's not new. Two more fans running at high speed. I don't know if you can hear them. The air conditioner is running, and it's not overheating, and the radiator's not leaking. I'm 
gonna buy a new radiator cap for it. Here in a few minutes, I'm gonna go to the store and get one. And uh, I got the cover for this, it's over here. Hey, Daddy. Hi. <laughs> I got this cover here. This was missing off of it. I went to the junkyard and got it. So I'm gonna clean this up. As you can see, the uh, chrome on it is wrinkled. I can get it off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna soak it in brake fluid. This stuff right here. And it'll make all that chrome come off. Then I'm gonna clean it up. And I have um, some chrome paint. It's made by Molotov. And it'll look just like that. And then I'll color in the, uh, the lettering with a black paint pen. And then we're gonna, we're gonna epoxy it back on here. I'm gonna clean this up to us degrees and everything make it look brand new and uh yeah i'm i'm a weirdo i like clean stuff anyway make sure didn't miss anything up there um but yeah it's not overheating i got to clean off the driveway now after it just cleaned up uh, let's see. there's the temperature gauge you get some gas on and it's been sitting here for 10 minutes running it and it hasn't gone past that mark which is where it's supposed to be so that's awesome that's awesome um as long as the radiator don't leak it won't run hot no more so i'm happy with this fix okay guys i'm gonna leave you on that note with a nice ice cold air conditioner blowing here we're still not overheating we're still ice cold so everything's going well Look how many miles per gallon I did. You see that? Isn't that awesome? Ow. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Y'all have a great day.